Hi everyone, I'm Mariko, I'm a Sydney based artist and musician also known as Destroy Mariko and today I'll be reviewing another outfit haul for Punk Rave Australia. Now as usual these items were sent to me as a gift but I'll always give you my honest opinion in every review. Also if you'd like to purchase any of today's items don't forget to use the discount code SteampunkFun for 20% off and free shipping. Shop links will be in the description below. So today's outfit is made from a set of four brand new items in the Punk Rave Australia store. As you can see here we've got the heavy gothic woolen cardigan, handsome punk corset, steampunk top and steampunk chain link leggings. I think they're all really cool items on their own but I'm also heaps excited to try them together. I mean I don't know about you guys but I'm totally getting a Sith kind of vibe from the way the model's wearing it. I mean I might be a little bit excited for the next Star Wars movie there but um anyway that's the outfit and I'll go into more detail on each item individually as we get up to them. First though let's talk about <clears throat> these packages. As you can see they're quite big which is pretty exciting. Uh, they were both sent through Australia Post and they took around three to four days to arrive which is really fast. I should mention though at the moment these items are actually shipping from China so um, that's a little bit different and if you'd like to know more about how all that works um, check out my older review the one with the spiked hoodie and that'll have all the details. Back to these though um, so I was really happy with the service and also the communication from Punk Rave Australia about tracking um, and it all went really smoothly. So let's get to opening both of them. How good is all this bubble wrap? Oh my god. So here's our first gigantic Punk Rave Australia bag. And the other package. Okay, so inside that second package we've actually got two smaller ones and that's because I'm actually going to be doing a review on this one later um, and it's really nice that Punk Rave Australia have actually written on them which ones are for each review so that makes my life so much easier. Okay, so I'm just going to set this on aside for now, that's going to be for the next review and I think it's going to be a really cool item as well. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to see that as soon as it comes out. Anyway, so let's open the smaller one which is for today. Okay, so now we've got our full set of four Punk Rave Australia bags and I think we'll start with the biggest one today. So let's hop on over to the website and have a look at what we're in for. So here we have the heavy gothic woolen cardigan. It kind of reminds me of the distressed coat I reviewed back in June, but obviously it's much more refined and it also seems to have a fair bit more length. I really like the hood shape and the material looks pretty solid and as always with Punk Rave Australia products, there are some really cool details like the elegant clasp design as well as the edging and lace on the sleeves and hemline. Uh, this item comes in three sizes, so based on this chart here, I'll be trying on the extra small to small size. Okay, so let's see what it looks like in the flush. Ooh! Oh wow! They're not kidding when they say it's thick. Okay, so it's quite big, so I'm gonna have to show you a little bit better once I've actually tried it on and we can zoom out some more. But yeah, the first thing you really notice is the fabric and it's like, it's like properly knitted kind of stuff. Like you can imagine sitting there with your knitting needles and um, some really thick wool and coming up with something like this. Like it's that kind of old school knitting kind of vibe. Okay, so it's gonna be a bit hard to show you exactly how the stitches are going just because it is black like completely black and so you know cameras don't always pick up this detail but as you can see here hopefully um, these are sort of like thinner bits so like it's got a raised bit and then a sort of lower and then raised and lower and it's just got those sort of standard um, knitting kind of stitches and then when you come across here there's this thicker section where it's um, sort of crisscrossing over, each over itself in this sort of a pattern. Now another thing about the fabric if I just put it up here pull it out like this against the white background you can see that a little bit of light is allowed to show through. Now so this is the hood section and the stitches sort of go down this way either side and then you've got um, a hem, the hemline which is a little bit thicker and once again it's going to be very hard to show on the camera with black on black but it is slightly different there. Then coming down a little you can see the old school clasp which is, um, we've seen that before on the distressed hoodie as I mentioned earlier and that sort of just unclips like that. Now as for the sleeve for the most part it's um, just the same kind of fabric but when you get to the end you've got this really nice sort of lacy bit and the lace forms kind of like a little triangle down here. And then as we come downwards um, so this sort of edging that we had at the hood um, is also on the edge of the rest of it and then it comes down to the bottom. So on the hemline we have a similar kind of stitch pattern with um, the smaller kinds of like you know raised and lowered bumps um, but it's actually a different feel in terms of the wool so it feels a little bit softer a little bit maybe stretchier which is kind of interesting. And then peeking under that we also have some lace and it's not just this small amount of lace you can actually lift that bit away and there's quite a bit there. Now in terms of fabric stretchiness so in the main part of the fabric there's a little bit of stretch um, not so much on the edging but in here yeah there's a little bit of stretch but not a whole lot 
Um, but there is a whole lot of stretch down there. It's a big difference. Even the lace is a little bit stretchy, which is interesting. As for the quality of this, like I'm really quite impressed. Um, it's a really heavy feeling kind of thing and it feels really solidly built. So yeah, I'm excited to try this on and um, I think we should just go do it. Okay, so this is how the item looks on me. Um, as usual, I'm gonna put my measurements in this corner and the item's measurements in that corner. We'll do a twirl and then we'll do a bit of a close up and then we'll have a talk about it. Okay, so I'm really loving this coat, cardigan, whatever you want to call it. I think it's amazing. Like the moment I put it on and take a look in the mirror, I'm definitely getting that Star Wars Sith vibe. Um, I am probably am a little bit more excited about this movie than I would <laughs> admit. But um, yeah, no, it's just like the shape is really nice. And like you, I think you guys remember, I really like the big hoods, you know, like this little white thing that I'm wearing underneath. It only has like this tiny little hood that just sticks to your head and you're like, why even bother putting it? there but this one punk rave hoods like they're actually there's so much space in here um, if I pull this all the way down like you know it it's so big that it could cover my entire face um, and I really love that they do that kind of thing and um, the shape of this one compared to the other hoodie I got from Punk Rave Australia because this is a thicker kind of fabric it actually stays in that kind of um, Jedi Sith shape which I think is really cool the other one gets close but because it's a thinner fabric you know it does tend to move around a little bit more whereas this like I feel like I'm wearing one of those Jedi Sith kind of cloaks it's really cool um, anyway enough Star Wars, I would try not to get too much on that kind of a tangent. Um, with the rest of it, okay, so let's talk about size. The size is perfect, there's like nothing that's too tight. Um, you do have plenty of extra space, um, so you know, if you're going to be wearing layers underneath it, you, there's nothing to worry, there's plenty of space. Like, even if you were one, one size up, you could probably fit into this quite happily because, yeah, there's enough stretch. Um, you know, I'm, this is extra small to small size. I'm usually the small, so I'm on the larger end of what's supposed to fit in this, and I still have all this extra space. You know, it's really, it's really flexible like that. So, no problems with sizes. Um, the fabric's really nice. One thing I will say is it's, um, it's more of a warm kind of fabric. Now, I live in Sydney. I'm filming this right as we're heading into summer. Summer's been a bit slow to get started, so there have been a few cold days. Like yesterday at work, I did put on a jumper. So, I may get a few occasions to wear this, but the reality is going into warmer weather, I probably won't get to wear it so much. I mean, I'm tempted. I'm really tempted to wear this when I go to see Star Wars on opening day um, uh, and I'm just sort of like though you know it might be a bit warm walking around this um, walking around in Chatswood I, I'm not sure about that um, I do get cold in the movies though so maybe I use that as my excuse but if it's one of those sort of really warm summer days probably not going to be practical in that sense however if you're living somewhere cooler like down in Tasmania or if you're in the northern hemisphere I think this will be a really good one to get um, you know if you want some warm fabric but also want to look stylish at the same time um, I think it's amazing and when winter comes back around oh my god I can't wait till winter now because I can wear this a lot um, now previously with the other one I did mention um, with in terms of keeping warm so it's got this sort of clasp as the only way of keeping it together and my previous criticism of that was if you really want to stay warm and you really want to pull it around you to stay warm um, it doesn't really give you that but what I've realized since then is that design actually allows you to show off whatever you're wearing underneath and um, yeah in winter if you've got to put on lots of layers you want to be able to show off some of those kinds of things so I've kind of changed my mind on that I actually like this clasp and how much it shows of your outfit and I think that's going to be really important when we get up to 
adding the rest of this outfit together. We'll be able to see it all underneath this. A couple more things to note. So um, because the fabric's a little bit thicker, you do notice a little bit of the fabric in there. It's not annoying or anything. It's just like you feel like there's like a little bit of extra padding when you sort of do that kind of a motion, um, depending on how it's going to be folding. Also in terms of the shape, so um, one way it's different from the Jedi Sith kind of thing is because it's designed for like the female shape. It does have that sort of the curve kind of thing going on, like it sort of hugs a little bit in here before opening out a bit more. Um, so it's kind of cool if you want to have more of a feminine kind of Jedi Sith vibe. Um, or if you want to go for a witchy kind of look, it's also cool that it has this, like it just gives you a little bit extra, you know? But yeah, so actually I think we've covered everything for that. Um, it's a really nice item, I really love it, and I can't wait till we get back to cooler weather. But we are heading into summer, so it's gonna be, I'm gonna have to be patient. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really loving it. Now actually I am getting a little bit hot wearing this right now, so I'm gonna take it off before we move on to the next item. But um, actually speaking of warmth, I do want to mention that there are two versions of this item. So I'm wearing the heavy version, there's also a light version, and that has lighter fabric. Now with the lighter fabric, if you look at the website pictures, it's worth noting that this does slightly change the way the fabric sits, most notably in the hood. Um, it also appears to be a little bit more transparent, um, so the different patterns in the knitting, um, they're a little bit more obvious compared to in the heavy version that I'm wearing. To me that makes it a bit more feminine, witch-like, and uh, less Star Wars-y. So depending on your style and weather conditions, you might find one or the other more suited to your tastes. Um, now, for me, I think the lighter version would probably be better for Sydney's conditions as we head into the hotter weather at the moment. But in terms of the actual design, I do prefer that sort of Star Wars look from the heavier ones. So I'm really happy with the one that I've chosen. Um, I should also note that I'm not entirely sure if the discount code is going to apply to the lighter version. It's definitely going to apply to the heavy version. But yeah, no, worth a shot plugging it in just in case to see if you can get that discount on the light version as well. But yeah, so it is really cool that Punk Grave Australia does give you the choice between the two different thicknesses of the fabric. The essential design is the same, it's just like, yeah, how full on the knitting is. Anyway, so it's time to move on! Our next item is the Handsome Punk Corset, which is essentially Punk Grave Australia's interpretation of the waist cinchus style and looks to me like a cool way to quickly add something extra to an outfit. The vibe I personally get is a sort of dark, futuristic, almost cyberpunk kind of feeling? I don't know. Um, to put it on, it has a convenient zipper on the front and adjustable roping on the back, which I really appreciate in case I put on a little bit of weight um, or want to wear it over thicker clothing sometimes. I also really like the details on the front with the rivets and eyelets and threading over the leathery black fabric. Um, now, this is another item that comes in three sizes, and once again, I'll be trying the extra small to small size. Here we go! So they wrapped the entire thing in tissue paper. Ooh, cute! Okay, so here it is, and the first thing I immediately noticed um, taking it out was the feel of the fabric. Now, it's got that kind of um, leathery kind of feel, but it's not like harsh like regular leather, um, it's actually quite soft. As for the details, obviously you can see it's got the zipper on the front there, and they've also got this little strip of fabric here which um, sort of pads behind the zipper. So you could potentially wear this on your skin and maybe not feel any discomfort, which is really cool. It's cute how they've got the little Punk Rave logo on the zip, hey? Next up we've got these little ropey bits, but what's interesting about them is um, they're actually sewn down, they don't move around at all, so um, you don't have to worry about like you know, sometimes when you have these kind of lace things and the lace things like get out of shape over time just from like stretching whatever, um, you won't get that with these. So um, that's a really cool little extra that they've done. So the eyelets give the illusion that they're tied there, but no, it's actually sewn down onto the item itself. And then there's these little rivets. Now, um, I don't think my camera is really capable of showing a huge close-up, but I think you can see there is a little bit of a design on there, which is really cute. It's, um, yeah, they really pay attention to detail with Punk Rave Australia. I also kind of like the shape that they're attached in. Like, for some reason, it kind of makes me think of, like, knuckle dusters. Now onto the back, this roping section is real roping, so you can adjust the size, which is really good for me. Um, and then we've also got this that sort of just folds in behind that. Finally, there is um, also a different kind of lining on the inside, so there are some some sections where you've got that kind of leathery feel, but they also have more of a fabric kind of thing, which is really nice. I think that ma makes it feel a lot better against your skin. I don't really plan to wear this kind of thing exactly against my skin though. I always wear um, corset type things over other outfits. So for me, it's not really an issue, but if you're into that kind of thing, it's good to know. Okay, I think that covers everything. Time to try it on. Okay, so this is how this looks on me. I do realize I've put it upside down, but I thought I'd show you that you can wear it differently to how the model is wearing it in the uh, promotional image. I will turn it around when we get up to the full outfit thing though, but I just thought, I thought it was really cool because it sort of matches up with these three triangles along here. I just thought I'd try it. Anyway, let's do the twirl and the close up 
and then we'll talk about it. So I'm really loving this waist cincher corset thing from Australia. Um, I think it made an instant improvement to the current outfit that I'm wearing. Like this thing, it kind of just falls straight. But with this, you can see it's really sort of brought it in and um, given me some actual shape instead of just being straight down. I mean, the straight down look is kind of cool for like a roby kind of thing, but um, it does feel a bit like pajamas at some point. Whereas when you add something like this, now it feels like you're wearing an outfit. Does that make sense? I suppose it depends what you're going for though, but that's what I noticed straight away putting it on. Now as for size, this is the extra small to small, and in Punk Rave Australia sizing, I usually fit under the small, and that means that I'm on the larger end of what this item is designed to accommodate. But I had no issues there, all I had to do was loosen it um, a fair bit, but then you put it on and then you tighten it and it sort of sucks in really nicely. Now as for how this item conforms to my body, so the fabric doesn't have any stretch or anything, but it is a kind of a soft fabric so once you tighten it up and tie it up um, it does feel like it's conforming to fit my shape rather than me having to conform to the, its shape if you know what I mean so like if you've tried on other corsets like they tend to have bones and things obviously Punk Rave Australia makes um, corsets more for fashion rather than for like old school kind of waist training kind of things and that suits me because you know I don't really need that um, I just want something that looks nice and so yeah it, it really fits me like nice and comfortably I don't feel like I'm being forced into any kind of shape. Um, it does depend on how tight you do it though. So I've gone fairly tight, not heaps tight, but um, tight enough that I can feel it um, hugging me there. Um, but I still feel like I have a full range of movement. Helps that it's a waist cincher kind of thing. I do have a full on corset that does have like little bone kind of things in it. And that's a little bit harder to move in, but this one is really easy. It's really nice. Um, it feels really comfortable. And then yeah, as I said, um, I don't really plan on wearing this against my skin, so the fabric isn't a huge issue. But actually, now that I think of it, the fact that the fabric is soft, um, you do feel that through the layers. So um, yeah, I really appreciate that. So in summary, I'm really loving this item. I think it's a really great addition to my wardrobe. Um, I love that it can add a little bit extra to different outfits or like with this kind of thing, completely change the shape and sort of the vibe of it. I mean, obviously when I'm wearing it like that, um, it is gonna get in front of all these patterns and so on, but um, you know, it's a bit of a trade off and it doesn't look that bad. I mean, all we're really covering up, I guess, is this sort of eye thing. You can still sort of see that it's a triangle. Um, so it works really nicely with this thing. So in summary, I'm really enjoying this item. Um, I think it's gonna be really good addition to my wardrobe. I also like that um, because it's an accessory, like it can change the vibe of your outfit, can add a little bit extra, or in the case of something like this, it can change the shape. Now I do realize when I was introducing this item, I mentioned like a dark cyberpunk. I think that's just how my brain works. I think most of you will be going, no, it's more like dark steampunk. But um, yeah, no, for me, it just, it kind of does have that vibe, but maybe I'm still in Star Wars land after looking at the model with the sort of Sith outfit and then thinking about Darth Vader. Maybe that's what's going on there. Anyway, so I think um, you could probably use it for a bunch of different styles, really. I mean, it's up to you how you interpret different things, but I'm gonna stop rambling and we'll move on to the next item. Before we do that, though, I'm just gonna quickly show you how easy it is to take this off once you've set your size up. Done! All right, now let's move on to the top. Okay, so this is the page for the steampunk top and at the time of filming it was already sold out. Um, don't worry when you see this though, things do come back in stock and you can easily sign up to be notified and they're not gonna spam you. Anyway, as you can see, this is a long sleeve top with the main decoration being the collar design which kind of looks like a spider web made of leather and mesh uh, with added metal studs and a solid D-ring. It also has a zipper on the back which I'm less keen on but which probably makes it easier to wear and it looks like the sleeves have some cool little details as well. Once again, this item comes in three sizes, so extra small to small it is. Okay, so here it is. And once again, the first thing I notice is the fabric. And I think that's just because like when I'm pulling it out, that's the first thing I feel. So the fabric on this one, it's not as soft as some of the items. It does have a bit of a harder kind of feel. Um, not in a hugely like inflexible way or like, I don't really know how to describe it, but it is kind of stretchy. I mean, the tag says cotton and spandex. 
Um, but yeah, it's just my brain just can't think of how to describe that to you. But like, so it's sort of, it's not heaps thin, it's not heaps thick, it's not heaps soft, it's not heaps hard. It's kind of just like in the middle of everything, I guess you could say. Anyway, so let's move on to some of the details. So up the top here, um, this fabric, so around the collar and some of the details, it's actually a kind of cracked leather kind of look. Now that cracked leather is a non-stretchy kind of fabric, so that means that this um, neckline, that's about as big as it's going to get. And so now we understand why it has the zip up the back, because if you didn't have that zip, you wouldn't be able to pull it on. Now this is a pretty standard looking zip, but it's um, really good quality. It operates really nicely. So I guess I'll talk about some of my concerns about the zip. So um, I've never had a zip on a t-shirt, I don't think. It's usually on a jumper, um, and it's usually on the front where it's easy to access. One of the things I worry about having a zip on a shirt is like, you know, that is going to be touching my skin, and it um, will be interesting to see how I deal with that. Another thing is when I'm zipping it up, I'm going to have to be really careful about all this long hair that I have um, just to make sure it doesn't get caught. And then another comfort related thing um, is like if I'm wearing a heavy jacket or if I'm wearing a bag or something across it on the back, um, I do worry about the, how that's going to sit against my back there. Whereas if it's on the front, generally you don't really wear so much stuff on the front. It's usually more open and so you don't get that pushing down kind of feeling. All this stuff said, I do think that the back is the most logical place for the zipper and you know, it's better than having buttons or something because um, you can't really have anything on the front because otherwise we'd lose this really cool design. So if we zoom in here, you can see it's got this really light mesh in between all the different sections. And then of course we've got these cute little metal rivets, which I think give it a more aggressive kind of feeling. Oh, and let's not forget the D ring. I can't really zoom in, but I'm sure you can see it says punk rave along there. Um, they're really good with adding all their little details. In terms of how the different fabric sections connect, so um, they don't let the mesh ever touch this, um, the main fabric. There's always a little bit of this cracked leather sort of going between as an intermediary. And I think that really makes the whole thing a lot stronger so that you're not going to get the mesh tearing at any point. It's like really nicely anchored down there. As for the sleeves, at first glance, it looks like pretty simple, pretty standard, nothing happening. But then you get to the end and you can actually see there's this extra panel sort of sewn along here and then we've got more cracked leather right at the edges and then we've got this cute little split. So yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, the impression I'm getting from seeing it on, on its own like this in person, um, for some reason I'm getting this kind of military vibe, even though there's nothing particularly military about it, but it does have kind of an aggro, grr, I'm ready to fight kind of feeling. But um, I'll go try it on and we'll see what it's really like. Okay, let's do a twirl. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally getting a sort of dark villain kind of vibe from this. Um, I think like partly because it's long sleeve, partly because like it goes all the way up to the neck and it's got these kind of aggressive details on it. But let's talk about how it actually feels to wear it. So in terms of size, um, the size is pretty good. Now, once again, I'm on the larger end of what this size is designed for. Um, so I did feel like um, it is a lot tighter on the sleeves. It felt a little bit tight getting that on and it sort of feels a bit tight in, I guess like the sections of it that are made out of this um, fabric. It does feel a little bit more open around here somehow. That might just be because I don't really have big boobs or anything to fill it out. But yeah, what's really nice is it doesn't feel too tight around the neck. Um, I always worry when things get like this that maybe I'll feel like I'm choking, but I don't get any of that feeling at all. So yeah, that's really nicely designed how they've done that. So I think the size is pretty perfect. If you're trying to decide what size to get, definitely stay within the measurements that they provide because this one is not one that has a whole lot of leeway. Now as for the fabric, so as I mentioned, this isn't the softest material that Punk Rave Australia offers. Um, it's not terrible or anything, but you will sort of notice it against your skin more than if it was a softer kind of thing. Around here though, everything feels really nice. Um, it's actually a lot less noticeable than this kind of fabric somehow, even though there's more detail. So that's really interesting. And then as for the zipper on the back, so I did notice it when I first put it on because it was cold and kind of obvious, but as it's warmed up to sort of match my body temperature, I guess, um, I'm finding I notice it a lot less. Also, if I lean against this door here, um, actually I'm not noticing the zipper like I was worried about that, that if you press against things. Um, obviously it's going to be a bit different if you're wearing a bag or a jumper that's particularly heavy, but um, the way that they've positioned it, so where my back naturally touches the door is not where the zip is. And the zip, when I was putting it on, it's actually perfectly designed to be exactly where I can reach. Um, if you're a little bit less flexible, it might be a little bit trickier, but for me, it was really perfect. Now as for the sleeves, I'm a little bit undecided as to whether or not these are going to get in the way in everyday life, like when I'm doing things. Um, I'd probably have to wear it a bit more to really 
actually figure that out. But um, it is kind of cool that it makes it look like it has a flare without it having to surround your entire hand because that gets in the way as well. So um, yeah, it actually sits really nicely and it, it doesn't feel odd or anything. Um, yeah. I wonder if I'm getting that dark villain vibe partly also because um, it kind of reminds me of, you know how Darth Vader's suit, he sort of has that panel across the top. Obviously this is heaps different, but maybe that's the impression I'm getting because I'm just a little bit obsessed at the moment. Anyway, um, yeah, no, it's really cool. I do like that sort of dark villain vibe. I don't have any shirts like this in my wardrobe. So yeah, I think this is going to be a really good one. Um, but yeah, I think maybe we'll move on and we'll have a look at what these have to offer. So here we've got the steampunk chain link leggings, our final item for today. And what immediately draws me in are those cute little chains on the front. I think they're a really nice touch and a good alternative to the much clunkier standalone pants chains I've worn in the past. Other than that though, I'm sure you can see they've made some unusual choices with the two main fabrics and how they're cut together. So I'm heaps interested to see how that actually looks in person because sometimes it's hard to gauge that just based off promo. Uh, but I suppose that's why I'm here to review it for you, so we can get a real sense of what it's like. Anyway, unlike the other items today, this one comes in a whole bunch of sizes, all the way up to 4XL, and it also indicates really good elasticity. So I think this one will fit nicely, and I'll be trying on the small size. Ooh, it's very smooth. Wow, yeah, so the fabric, it's really smooth and sort of slippery, and um, this section in particular kind of reminds me of like snake skin or something. That's really awesome. It's also got a reasonable amount of stretch in this direction, and then up here is pretty stretchy too. And so we've got a Punk Rave Australia button, and then the zip underneath there. Oh wow, and the inside fabric is kind of different actually. Um, it feels kind of fleecy, I guess. I don't know if that's the right term. It feels like a jumper on the inside, sort of. Maybe not quite like a jumper though, like it's it's not quite that fluffy, but it, it has that kind of impression for me. So yeah, I think this is another one that's maybe designed for uh, cooler weather. Okay, and so here's one of those contrasting panels on the front, and one thing I noticed, it's a little bit thinner than the rest of the fabric, and it doesn't have that sort of fleecy, fluffy kind of backing on it. Um, it's also like heaps stretchy, like that's crazy. And then down at the edge, you can see they've put these three D-rings on that connect to all these little chains, and they all meet on the back at this single D-ring here. And then that's connected to one of these cute little pockets. And yeah, that's basically that. So I'm heaps excited. Let's go try it on. All right, let's twirl. And close up. So the leggings, overall they're pretty comfortable, but the first thing I notice when putting them on is that they are fairly tight, like body conforming, and I think that's why they've made individual sizes for like every size instead of combining a few, because um, yeah, it really does hug your body. And I would say if you're looking at the size chart and you're not sure, definitely don't go down a size. Um, if anything, go up. Like especially if you're on the borderline, right? If you're not sure whether to go for a small or a medium, I would go for the medium. I think for me on this, the tightest point is that sort of waist bit. So with this waist, right, it is um, sitting a bit higher than I usually like to wear anything like this. Um, I prefer it to be sort of more around there. And then because it is this sort of elastic that's quite, it's got a lot of stretch, but it also sort of snaps back quite a lot. It does feel like it's pulling in a bit more than I'm I'm really used to. So yeah, that's something to be aware of. But otherwise, um, the size, like, it really does fit my body quite nicely. Like, there's not any loose baggy bits. I mean, there is that moment when you're putting them on, you're like, oh, this is a little bit tight. But once you actually get them on and settle into them. Um, yeah, it feels fine. It feels exactly my size. The next thing to talk about is the fabric. So you remember I mentioned the fabric, like on the outside, it's this sort of um, smooth, scaly kind of um, feel. And But on the inside, it did have that kind of, um, you know, it's got that kind of lining that's a little bit fluffy, furry. Not really. I don't know. I'm not good at fabric, um, fabric names, but that sort of fleecy kind of feel. Um, and so you, what I really like about that um, is for one thing, you don't really notice it. It's not heaps obvious. But what it does do is um, it just makes it so much more comfortable. Like, can you imagine if you had this right against your skin? It'd probably feel a little bit sticky I think especially when you're trying to pull it on whereas with that kind of fleecy stuff on the inside it actually makes it slide really nicely against your skin and it doesn't feel sticky or anything like that you know like I've mentioned in the past that I can be a bit picky about what actually touches my skin and the way they've done this 
is really nice. Like, I would not want to wear something like this with this kind of fabric if it was on the inside. Um, yeah, so they, the lining's really good. They've actually basically designed it for someone like me to wear. One fabric thing that is a little bit weird though, so with this section, right, that's the different kind of fabric. It doesn't have that scaly kind of texture. It's a little bit thinner and a little bit stretchier, right? Um, one of the downsides of that is like, so I've tucked this in to try and, um, you know, show you the top rather than, um, you know, having the t-shirt hang over it. But one of the downsides is, I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but you can kind of see the lines where things are like underneath um, where it's overlapping things. So because it's so thin, like it basically shows anything under there. So yeah, I guess if you're gonna be wearing a lot of layers and trying to like tuck a lot of things in there, that could be a problem. It's got, not gonna look the nicest if you've got too much sort of tucked in. Another thing that bothers me just a little bit is like this kind of shape kind of sort of reminds me of underpants, which is kind of weird. I mean, I hope I haven't made it so that you can't unsee that, but that's just like one sort of a weird thing. I guess in some ways it's kind of like how, you know, the superheroes who wear the underpants on the outside, I sort of get a little bit of that vibe from it. But in practical terms, I don't think that's really an issue because one of the reasons I wanted to get leggings like this is um, I have a lot of really short skirts and I have to admit, I get a little bit self-conscious when I'm showing that much leg. So um, yeah, it's sort of like, how do I wear all these skirts? but not feel a little bit uncomfortable and yeah leggings make sense right so actually in my case you'd only be seeing um, from about the chins downwards so yeah that's one thing there also if you are going to be having things like shirts overlapping as well that's no problem and then of course not everyone is going to be staring at your crotch to even notice that in the first place so that's just my imagination going a little bit like yeah so not really a problem and really they are really comfortable and really nice and I really do like this sort of snake skin kind of vibe I think that's really cool and you know if you talk about the the superhero wearing the underpants on the outside I think that for me that's kind of just emphasizing how this outfit Outfit is evolving into like a dark evil villain kind of thing but yeah you guys know me I have a bit of an overactive imagination and sometimes I just like to tell stories with the different outfits that I'm trying on so yeah that's my imagination there anyway to summarize so they're really comfortable leggings I mean the one thing that's a little bit off for me is that the waist is a little bit tighter than I'd like but yeah it's not so tight that I feel like I can't wear it if you know what I mean and I gotta say I really do like the chains and how they sort of sit on the side of my legs there I think they're a really nice uh, touch. So yeah, overall these leggings get a thumbs up from me. Anyway, so now that we've tried on everything individually, I think we'll put it all together and see how the outfit comes together as a whole. Okay, so here's the outfit without the coat. <laughs> So that's the full outfit. Let me know in the comments what you think. I know I'm loving it. I hope you are too. Now I really do have to say the overall vibe I'm getting is definitely some kind of Star Wars, Sith, Darth Vader, Kylo Ren, whatever you want. Um, yeah, I love, the, I love those kind of dark characters, but I'm definitely getting that vibe. I mean the hood and then the fact that everything like, you know, it's long sleeve, long pants. Um, I've also chosen like some pretty full on boots to go with it. Um, and then yeah, with also the little waist thing. To me, it all just adds up into that kind of Sith vibe. Obviously with a bit of a feminine kind of feeling because of course I'm a chick. But yeah, I would totally wear this out to the Star Wars first day. Um, except that it is a little bit hot for Sydney, I think. Um, I'll just take the hood off because I am getting a little bit warm. Um, so yeah, I don't know that I'll be wearing this out when Star Wars comes out. It probably depends a bit on what the weather's like that day. But in winter, watch out Sydney because I'm going to be going out 
like this everywhere that I can. So anyway, if we revisit all the different things that we've talked about for each item individually, like, you know, size, fit, fabric, how it feels, all the features and all that kind of stuff. Um, since we're talking about temperature, let's start with fabric. Um, obviously, because you've got this thick fabric on the outside and then you've got layers and you've got padding, um, it does feel like one of those sort of warmer outfits. Um, it's not really gonna be suitable for the middle of summer, I've gotta say. Um, but if you live in a cooler climate, um, also if you're heading into like sort of autumn kind of territory, um, you could probably wear it in winter as well, just depending on how hardcore your winters are, you might want some extra layers. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna be wearing this in the cooler months in Sydney. Other than that, in terms of how it feels against my body, so obviously the main things that I'm feeling are the leggings and the top. And um, yeah, I, it feels really nice. I don't really have anything to complain about there. Like even though I did say this top is um, not particularly soft, but there's no issues there. And once I have all this on, it feels really nice. Um, if you remember the zipper, so um, now that I've actually got a coat on, I'm not really noticing the zipper still. So um, yeah, that's been surprisingly good. As for the sizing, that's all really perfect. So um, the leggings and the top are of the more tight fitting kinds of things. Obviously I've also got the corset on. Um, um, the, the outer where the coat doesn't really affect anything in terms of size because you do have that extra kind of stretch. But actually speaking of layers, I mean, because everything is uh, fairly tight fitting, you don't get any issues, but there is still heaps of space if you did want to wear more layers. One thing I want to revisit in terms of size, so as I mentioned with the leggings, at the very top of the leggings, they are um, a little bit tight on my body. But see, with this outfit, you're also wearing a corset kind of thing, which you can tighten and which I have tightened to be tight anyway. So when I added them together, um, suddenly I don't really care that the pants are a little bit tight like it's about it's it's maybe slightly tighter than the corset um, but when you put them together yeah it just kind of feels seamless now in terms of design and coordination let me show you a thing so if I just unclip this as you can see both the corset and the leggings have a zipper sort of around the center line and if you line them up um, you, you could even like sort of overlap but you can kind of make them look like they're connected in a way which is kind of odd kind of interesting but yeah also kind of cool if you like that kind of stuff um, I did notice when I put it on um, it has a tendency to sort of shift like that um, so if you're a little bit obsessive that could be a little bit annoying but yeah it does kind of give a sort of seamless feel especially because this fabric um, the way that it looks kind of looks like this fabric so yeah it's interesting in that kind of design and the way that they've chosen the different items to go together so yeah just thought I'd mention that another thing that's really cool about the way they've coordinated this outfit so you've got a big d-ring here and then you've got all these little D-rings there. And I think that's really cute. Like, you know, they've actually chosen this one really well in terms of things matching up, which is, yeah, I like it. I like when things kind of match. Oh my gosh, sorry about my dog barking. Much calmer now. I guess to summarize, now that we've tried it on, we've had a talk about it, um, if I was to choose my favorite thing about this outfit, I mean, yes, the size is really good, um, the fabric's really nice, it fits really well, um, it's really well made, it's really well chosen, really well coordinated and all that kind of stuff, but I will admit my favorite thing about it is that it reminds me of Star Wars and Sith and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, I didn't realize I was this excited about the new Star Wars movie. I really wish I could wear this out. I will try to wear it out on the day if it's not too hot, but yeah. Sydney temperatures right now, they're okay, but every now and then we get a really hot day. So we'll try our best. Otherwise, waiting for winter, I'm heaps excited and like, raw. No, I think it's a really good outfit. And also, um, I like that like individually each piece is nice on its own. And so I am like, when I'm not in a Star Wars mood, I will be able to mix and match things really nicely. I think in terms of influencing different outfits, the one that I think might be the most fun to play with would be the corset, just because it can go on so many different things and really change up the vibe and also change the shape. So yeah, I would say that one's gonna be the one that you get to have the most creative fun in terms of which outfits you're gonna put it with. And like, it does change the mood. I mean, if you saw before when I was wearing that white sort of outfit that was very flat, um, once you put that on and get a bit of a curve in it, it does change the mood of it. So I think that's really cool how one item can have such a huge impact. But yeah, as I said, I love all the items on their own. I love them together. Let me know what you think. And of course, if you decide that you want to buy any of these items, don't forget to use the code STEAMPUNKFUN when you're checking out, and that gets you 20% off and free shipping. As usual, I'd really like to thank Punk Rave Australia for sending all of these items to me. I think they're amazing. I think they're really well chosen. Like, they just gave me a really good set, I think. So yeah, I 
really love it and um, I hope this video has been useful to those of you who've been thinking of buying something from Punk Rave Australia. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, subscribe, share, comment, you know all the YouTube things. I should point out there are two channels that you can subscribe to here. So um, there's either my channel, my personal channel, which has a whole range of content, or if you just want reviews, you can go to the Punk Rave Australia channel. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope to see you again next time when we open this package and review a really cool coat that I can't wait to show you. Other than that though, I hope you guys have a great Christmas season and if you're going to be seeing Star Wars like I am, I hope you have a great time. I know I'm excited to see how everything plays out and I have to say it, may the force be with you. Unlimited power! <laughs>Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm loving this outfit so much. I really don't want to have to take it off. Um, I've sort of just been wandering around the house, you know, enjoying it, having some fun. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. It feels really good. Um, but unfortunately, I've got to go and do some cleaning now, and I don't want to get it all dirty. So, yeah, all good things have come to an end, but what can you do? Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for joining me with this review, and I'll see you all next time.